Montessori Water Work. And uh, as the times are coming with all these things that are floating around in the air, we thought it would be a good time to review a little bit of hand washing with your children. So something that's easy at home, you can get a plastic container. I usually put a, a mat. If you have a tray or something to contain the water underneath, that would be preferable. Getting a small washcloth for your child, a little pouring apparatus, something that's small enough for them to manage. Obviously you want your bowl to be a bit larger because their hands are going to be going into it. Whenever I'm giving a lesson, I physically do it with the child first in front of them and then I clean everything up and I give them the opportunity to have their turn. So first we have our mat, we have our pouring apparatus, we have the bowl, our towel, a little dish. You can either use bar soap or you can use squeeze soap. So the first thing we're gonna do, you wanna get something small enough where the water won't overfill your container. So I got a, a tiny pouring apparatus. For the child, it's important that you encourage them to scrub out of the water as long as possible. You can sing a song with them. I understand that the baby shark song is popular. You can do twinkle twinkle. What I've been doing with my children is doing two rounds of that at least. Happy llama sad llama. You could do happy llama sad llama. Make sure that your bubbles are completely all over the hand. Likely once the child begins to do this, he's going to do it over and over and over. Water is very soothing and calming and relaxing. Then you're ready to dry the hands. It might not be a bad idea to get a tub or even a, pot, a giant pot for the child to walk to, to dump or pour his or her water out just so that they can be ready to either do it again or maybe they're, they're done with this activity.